All right, so we're going to look at how you determine algebraically whether two functions are inverses of each other. So informally speaking, the inverse of a function undoes the function. Um, and so that's why inverse functions look like this. So um, here's a function, here's its inverse, or here's a function, here's its inverse and they're symmetrical about this line which is y equals x um, and that is because the we're essentially taking the x values of this function and making them the y values of this function and we're taking the y values of this function and making them the x values of this function um, so they undo each other and another way of saying that more formally is this if f and g are inverse functions then f of g of x is x and g of f of x uh, is x. So another way to look at that is um, something like if f of x is y, um, then the inverse of that function of y would get you back to x. These are all ways of saying the same thing, more or less. Okay, so you can use this principle to determine algebraically whether two functions are actually inverses of each other. So here I've got f of x is 3x and g of x is x divided by 3. That's saying take a value of x, multiply by 3. This one is saying take a value of x, divide it by 3. Sounds like they're probably they probably undo each other, right? If I take, uh, let's just do this kind of informally. Let's say I take f of four, f of four. Well, what this, what f is going to do, is going to take a four, and turn it into a twelve, right? It's going to take a four and multiply by three to get twelve. What this function is going to do is, uh, I'll take a twelve. Say, okay, I'll take your twelve. I'm going to divide it by three. So it turns it into 4. So um, so for x is 4, f of x is 12, and g of f of x, so if f of x is 12, g of f of x, which, which means g of 12, is 4, which was x. OK, that's all this is saying. So. Um, we can show this more formally like this. So um, f of g of x is x. Let's, let's do that. Let's do f of g of x. So we're going to do f of g of x. OK. So what that means is, um, so f of x is 3 times x. But my x here is not going to be just x. It's going to be g of x. So I'm going to plug in this whole function in for x. So I'm going to take g of x, which is x over 3, and plug it in for x here. So it's f of g of x is 3 times x, but x in this case um, is x divided by 3. So f of g of x is 3x, but x is um, x divided by 3. Well, 3 times x divided by 3 is just x. So this part is true. Both conditions have to be true uh, in order for the functions to be inverses of each other. So you have to test it both ways. So now let's do g of f of x. So g of x is x over 3. So I'm going to do um, x over 3, but not just x. I'm going to do the entire function f of x over 3. So I'm going substitute to substitute in 3x in for x divided by 3. So g of x is x over 3, but my x is 3x. So that's x over 3. Well, 3x over 3 is just x. So uh, when I did f of g of x, I got x. And when I did g of f of x, I got x. So f of x and g of x are inverses of each other. We proved that algebraically. All right, so let's try on a couple slightly more complicated examples. Now, this, this lesson is just an intro. Um, there will be some examples, for, for example, with the square function, square root, where uh, you know, if you do the inverse of x squared, for example, you're not going to um, 
so let's just say you take x squared and the square root of x as your two functions. If you if you test them algebraically, um, you're not going to get exactly x um, when you do that for both for both of them. Um, and because you'll get you'll get plus or minus x. Um, point being, all right, there's x squared. If I want to take the inverse of that, um, I'll get something that's like sort of like that, um, which is not a function, right? You can't have two two value. You know, it fails the vertical line test. Okay, but if I restrict this. Um, and say, well, I'm only going to take when x is greater than 0. Then it would work as a function. Okay, all that's just an aside, just to watch out for that kind of thing. Right now, we're just focusing on the basic concept of um, proving algebraically whether two functions are inverses. So, okay. So, uh, so f of x is 5x plus 3, and g of x is x minus 3 over 5. So, let's use this test. So, f... of g of x is going to be, so f of x is 5x plus 3, but x is going to be this whole function, x minus 3 over 5. Okay, but 5x and then plus 3. All right. Um, well, 5 times x minus 3 divided by 5 is just x minus 3. And then I'll add 3. So minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So this just equals x. Okay, but not good enough just to do it one way. Now, it, now we have to do... Um, here, let me make myself some more room here. Now we have to do g of f of x. g of f of x is equal to... So g of x is x minus 3, but the x is going to be 5x plus 3, because that's f of x. 5x plus 3, in for x, uh, minus 3 over 5. So 3 minus 3 is 0, so I've got 5x over 5, which of course is just x. Okay, so these, these are inverses. It, um, f of g of x and g of f of x are both um, x. Let's try these. Uh, j of x is 4x minus 3, and i of x is 1 fourth x plus 3. Uh, looks like they could be inverses, but let's, let's test algebraically. So we'll do um, j of i of x. And I did, you know, I did this to show. It doesn't matter if you call it f. It doesn't matter if you call it g. Um, j of i of x. And it wouldn't matter, you know, if, if you did um, y equals 4x minus 3 and y equals 1 fourth x plus 3. Um, it, you know, it's easier in function notation because it's easier to see what you're doing, but you could do it. Okay. So j of i of x is 4, 4x four minus 3, but my 4, or my x is going to be 1 fourth x plus 3. Okay, so that's 4x and then minus 3. Okay, so let's distribute this 4. So 4 times 1 fourth x is just x. 4 times 3 is 12. So all this becomes x plus 12. And then we've got our minus 3. Well, this, this boils down to x plus 9, which is not just x. So we can stop there and say j and i are not inverse. You know, if it fails one of these tests, it fails all of them. Um, well, I, you know, it might pass one, but if it fails one, you can just stop and say they are not inverses. So these these are not inverses. They look like they look like it could be, um, but they're not. And you use this algebraic test to see.